like waft and that's about it. Nah, I don't. After playing Matador some, I don't believe that at all. Yeah, as soon as you get fired on once, like you start to reassess how you feel about the character. It's like, yo, I thought a what percent? Yo, this character's busted. And let's see if uh, Matador can make Warrior look busted. Almost gets a, ja or a jab lock right there with the sour thought back air. So he's definitely feeling the way. He's looking for everything that he can. And against a player like Sinji, that's something you need to do because a uh, seasoned player, definitely one of the best in New York and definitely one of the best Pac-Man in the world. If not, I think he might be the best now. Who's left? Um, Let's see here. Are we still going to count 20, uh, 2015 Albadongo? Nah, that's... That, that joint's gone. <laughs> that joint's dead. Almost dead as Mewtwo. He's playing Bayo now. True. My man's playing Bayo. He's trying to get that money. I respect it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Matt Matador... Oh, my oh, gosh. Oh, that's night. I was uh, just about to say, Matador's really good at playing evasive with his bike. And then he gets on his bike and immediately gets hit by the key and dies. Um, this is kind of a curse if you didn't even finish saying it yet. Right? Right, and now this is the point where, like, for lack of a better term, this is where it sucks. Playing yeah. against Sinji from behind is, like, I haven't done it personally, but, like, I've watched it enough to see that it looks very frustrating, and this is the thing that grinds you down. Oh, I have, and it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, like, even if you make it to a game three, that's still a lot of um, just, like, mental strain done. So, <coughs> excuse me, Sinji is a very strong player. Like, he's used to playing like this. Ooh. But Mador may not be used to playing the long game like this. Mador definitely uh, is, like, pretty good with, like, the watch confirms. But I, I think he's going to have to hold on to that for that second stock in order for anything to really happen with this game. Um, I'm not sure how he's planning on trying to get rid of this next stock. Maybe he just hopefully get the edge guard and get a kill throw. Yeah, Sinji's giving him absolutely nothing. Yeah. Um, it's tough because they both have such good airspeed. They're just kind of running away from each other. Yeah. Ooh. Looking at cat and mouse, and Sinji's definitely looking like the cat right now. Feeling himself, trying to go for that down smash charge, but going unpunished. I actually really like that. Um, he used the hydrant to kind of make himself safe. Hydrant's not going to do it just yet, though. A lot of rage on Sinji, but Hydrant and Fruit, if I remember right, aren't Ooh. affected by um, rage. So that's another reason why Pac-Man's kill power is not up to snuff with a lot of other characters. Trying to use that bike to like nullify the hitbox on that Hydrant, too. It was a smart idea, but it just didn't quite work out. Ooh. Almost catching the bad DI on that. Still alive, though. Sinji swinging for fences with the Nair, Gone. too. But yeah, that isn't it, oh. surprisingly. Wow. Okay, that's that is, it, yeah. Yeah. Right. I like that setup too. Make him make him air dodge through the bike and then hit him with the down air after. Now 174 max rage. Beyond max rage. My man is pissed. <laughs> and he is looking for it. You know what he wants. Everyone knows what he wants. It's on Sinji to not give it to him. Madnor is gonna survive this, and Warrior's recovery is quite strong as long as he has the bike there. But Ooh. there's just too much going on. Matador wasn't ready. And uh, that's going to be the first game going in uh, Sinji's favor. Be curious to see what Matador wants to go to afterwards. Um, I don't really think there was anything problematic with that stage. I think it's just a matter of uh, he lost that stock way too early to something he really should. I'm not going to say he shouldn't have lost to him because Sinji's just nice with it. He hit him with the snipe. Mm -hmm. But... But he could have just shielded, you know? Yeah, or knock out on your bike or, like, react a little bit faster. Or, yeah, there's always, like, a coulda, woulda, shoulda. And I feel like Mador is probably kicking himself in this scenario, too. Because that's really the thing that, like, set all that into motion. If you didn't die so early, who knows how this uh, game could have turned out. And Mador is going to try and find that out. We got the run back. Game two. Um, same character, same everything. Ooh. Okay. Alright, that was nice. Yeah, and now Mador is looking a lot more comfortable. There might have been like a bit of jitters at first, but Sinji's um, never one to really give people that uh, room to breathe <laughs> after, like, you know, if they're nervous or whatever. He's ready to always take to the jugular. Yeah. And I do like how Matador is choosing to, like, either deal with or not deal with these options when he's getting edge guarded. You know, like we saw, like, the. Not this past recovery, but the one before it. How he just biked all the way under the stage and just, nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna deal with this hydrant. Mm -hmm. It's smart to do that sometimes, you know. 
Yeah, a lot of people like try and play around Hydra too much, but you got to realize Pac-Man has years' experience playing around the Hydra. Like you're not going to beat a Pac-Man his own game unless you put a lot of thought into it. And sometimes <gasps> it is good just to play around it. But that was a nice confirm. Not quite getting the right angle though. If he had been sent to the left, that stock would have been gone. But still cleaning up, and now Matador has a bit of an advantage for the first time. Where are you going? Where? Well, huh? Yeah, I guess the first one technically counted as grounded, which it definitely looked like it started in the air, but... Yeah, yeah but I guess he, he turned it around, I think it was what it was. Mm. It looked like he reversed it, but all right, that was a... Uh, oh, maybe he's just trying to stall for time so he can get more, uh, more waft or whatever. That's true, too. And another thing to consider is that all the items that uh, Pac-Man is throwing out is helping um, Matador charge uh, waft faster. Yeah. So... It's kind of a double-edged sword. Like, oh, Ooh. nice reaction, though, by Sinji. That was an untackable forward air, so there was really nothing Matador could do besides hold away and maybe pray. Okay, he's definitely waiting for that waft. <laughs> yeah, smart by Matador. Just use every second to get his win condition online. I thought, you know, for a second, too, I was like, is he just waiting out in bone? But then he hung out there for, like, three seconds. <laughs> yeah. Man, he's trying to get the indigestion going. Ooh, ate the, uh, ate the Galaga. That's another couple seconds off that timer. Normally it's like two-ish minutes. I think it's like a minute of 50 seconds. But um, everything he eats saves that timer down more and more. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw like a half off to three-fourth on mine in any second now. Yeah. He's definitely a percent too where like something like that will kill. It's just a matter of how he's going to get to confirm. Trying to go for the F-Smash. Yeah, and Sinji might be rolling too much. Because um, that's the second time that Mado almost had a hard read on him. Well, second time that, like, he had a read, but didn't quite pan out that time. Throws the bike up, forces him to recover around it. Nice hydrant, though, to save Sinji's life. That up smash might hit or it. And there we go. Full off on line. The thing is, right now, I don't even think that matters as much. Ah, uh, that... Well, he just kind of blew it there. Actually, that was smart by... Okay, Ooh. okay. Matador is out here, and I like how he whittled down the uh, trampoline twice to give Sinji something else to think about if he decided to recover without the trampoline that time. Yep. So, actually, Matador is showing a lot of signs of matchup knowledge, and I'm wondering where he picked this up from. Uh, he's he's Virginia, right? Sapphire? Who? Sapphire? Sapphire does play Pac-Man. Really? People know him for Bayo because, like, sometimes he just wants to win, but he does play Pac-Man. Huh. I'll never forget when I met Sapphire. He used pre-patch Bayo against me in an Arcadian and then apologized to me. And I was like, what? Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pre-patch Bayo, that's something to apologize for. Post-patch, yeah, yeah, post uh, just hold that L. But, like, pre-patch, it'd be like that sometimes. Where are you going? To his people. Okay, <laughs> but he's back. He's back, center stage. And I think Matador recognizes that, um, you know, the waft is something very big for him. Uh, but I think he might be trying to play around the charge too much. Yeah. He's not really, like, boxing with Sinji as much as he was in the last game. And now Sinji is just taking it to him. And I think, too, it's like he's got barely any damage on Sinji. It's like if he's going to kill with something like a 3 fourth block, too, he's got to get some kind of damage. And now he's behind a whole stock. Sinji almost untouched. And he's got the Galaga in hand. Only 14% on Sinji. That's very rough. And I keep on saying Pac-Man, like... Playing against Pac-Man from behind is very, very taxing. Wario is probably better equipped to do it with most characters. Thanks, Cakes, cakes of Span, for the subscription with Switch Prime. Sub-hype. Man, I kind of miss Sub-hype. Sub-hype? Uh, Sub-hype. From the old days. we got to think of something new for the, you know, new venue. We, new we have to let it happen organically. Yeah. True, true, true. All right, but now Sinji almost lapping uh, Mador percent, and he's not even throwing out the good fruits anymore. He's just throwing out the cherries, just throwing out whatever he can. He's like, all right, just get off me. Yeah. You have to come to me, and you have to hold some damage here and there. My man took the stock at like five minutes or something, and he's immediately playing timeout. Mm -hmm. I respect it. All right, yeah. Like people give timeout a lot of flack, but they don't get how exhausting it is for both the player that's timing out and the player that's getting timed out. And the player that's doing the timing out always has to keep rage on Ooh. in mind. And again, the waft sending in the wrong direction. Playing timeout is like listening to a 10-hour loop of uh, Patrick doing the late, 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 late thing, right? <laughs> it's it's hard. Mm -hmm. it, Are you speaking from experience? Like that's not that's not a mad specific. I mean, I, I definitely use that to try and. Uh, Work on my patience in game. Excuse how did that bell hit? But yeah. Patience is very important. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted by the Pac-Man witchcraft. 
Because, by the way, I feel like Pac-Man players have such a high skill floor in order to fight effectively. Yeah. That first stock is going to go, and now this is, like I keep on saying, it's scary. The fart should be on mine, uh, maybe not like super soon because he did use it last stock, but if he eats a little bit and just keeps on playing on the back foot, staying alive, oh, it's yeah. definitely something that Mad or, or Sinji has to consider. Wario definitely has some of the strongest Smash 4 factor, and with Sinji missing that up smash, he could definitely fall for it pretty soon. Never mind, we're just going to get hit by Roki again. But man, Sinji nice with it. Yeah, throwing it out. And you see the key so rarely that I guess players just get caught.